Can the European Union wean itself off Russian gas? That's a question that has been at the forefront of many policy discussions in recent years. The answer, it seems, lies in the East Mediterranean. Not so long ago, in the early parts of the 21st century, the European Union was heavily reliant on Russian gas. In fact, around 40% of its gas was imported from Russia. This dependency on a single source brought about several concerns, primarily about energy security and geopolitical influences. The turning point came when the European Union, along with Israel and Egypt, decided to sign a tripartite natural gas export deal. This pivotal moment took place at the East Mediterranean Regional Energy Conference held in Cairo. The agreement marked a significant shift in the EU's energy policy, allowing for the first time substantial exports of Israeli gas to Europe. The deal was not just about diversifying the EU's energy sources, it was also about reinforcing Europe's energy security. The plan was simple but effective. Israeli gas would be transported to Egypt's LNG terminal on the Mediterranean. Some of this gas would then be liquefied and transported to Europe on tankers. The EU did not stop there. It earmarked funds for the construction of an undersea electricity cable that would link the power grids of Israel, Cyprus, and Greece. This project, known as the East Med Pipeline, aims to carry gas from the southeastern Mediterranean to continental Europe. Although still in the preliminary evaluation and cost estimation stage, it represents a major step towards reducing the EU's dependency on Russian gas. Israel, a country that has become a gas exporter in recent years, continues to explore for more gas, including in disputed areas. It has two major gas fields off its coast, further solidifying its role as a key player in Europe's quest for energy diversification. In summary, the European Union's dependency on Russian gas has been a critical issue in recent years. The signing of the gas deal with Israel and Egypt marked a significant shift in the EU's energy policy. This move, along with the proposed East Med Pipeline project, represents significant strides towards diversifying Europe's energy sources and enhancing its energy security. As we step into the future, these developments signal a new era in Europe's energy landscape.